Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby, episode 40 to 41. Let's go ahead, ahead and get started. Ata! <laughs> Phew, glad that went well. <laughs> oh my gosh, like that clapping. Every time I see like a little kid clapping, I think of my late grandma and I was a kid with my little sister and stuff. They will always sing this Vietnamese song. It's called Yo Tai Ba Wun Tan Dao. Go, go, go. We just like, you know, uh, clap your hands and uh, Auntie will give you a cracker. If you don't clap your hand, I will knock on your head. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's such a silly song, but it's just like a way to get us to interact and also learn Vietnamese because, you know, we're bilingual, you know. Vietnamese is actually my first language before I learned English. So, so yeah, it was <laughs> one of the songs I remember. <laughs> or like the butterfly song. Oh my gosh, it's so silly. I'm not really good with children. I don't have a good childhood myself, so I don't even know what an adult should do in this situation. Oh. To grow up around bickering parents, it's just sores. What's this? Are you two finally getting along? I hope so. Well then, how about we discuss? <clears throat> huh? Where's your pacifier? Abu. <laughs> Hello, baby. Episode 40. Mega development. Nana, what's wrong? Huh? Arrival? Come on, Nana. We already come to an agreement. So, this is all just formality. That guy's just involved with. It's no biggie. We're in love. Where does your brother get his confidence? Who knows? <laughs> Nana, so silly to be worrying about something like that. <laughs> Rival. <laughs> the person who always scoffs about stuff like that always end up in a rival, okay? And it's gonna get ugly because if, if Lance does try to convince Gwen to be like, hey, you should choose me. I am, I am a better fit. I can provide everything, blah, 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 like whatever. That might happen. I'll finish some work before I meet Gwen later. Wait, are we really going to ignore the elephant in the room? What about you going to do about these rumors circulating inside our company? We have a meeting with executives in just a few days. You can't seriously be considering resigning, can you? <laughs> I just need more time, Faye. For now, I'll leave her to you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I can finally get some rest. <laughs> I need more time to figure out what her constant meetings with Aunt Morgan means. But that would be second priority for now. I don't- I feel like that should not be a second priority. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Attorney. Yes, I'll be there. I'll be running a little late, though. Ooh, this- Mmm, I hate this she-devil. Tut. Huh. We'll look after little Leon here in the waiting area. Go, you can go ahead, you can go on inside. But, you know we won't take him I anywhere, Miss Gwen. <laughs> of course, Anna, I trust you. I'll be going now. Lance, are you alright? I can't believe I'm here at this his office. He did mention Arthur's lawyer mentored him. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since the last time I've seen him as well. Welcome. I was informed that Mr. Morante will be here a little later, but we can get started without him. 
Oh, I see. Is that you, Lance? Please, where are my manners? Have a seat. Originally, Mr. Morante had intentions of taking this matter of custody to court. According to my client, you've, you've only met with her once. What would he consider such drastic actions right off the bat? Miss Zalameda initially ignored our request for Mr. Morante to receive, receive visitation with his child. What was I supposed to do? It was out of nowhere. We had met each other other briefly nearly two years prior, and then I received mail and calls that he knows about my child? Gwen, please calm down. That's all in the past now, as far as I can tell. Please take a look at the new contract Ms. Mr. Morante has requested. Mr. Morante is now only requesting visitation with Leon Zalameda. Three times a month at minimum. This looks reasonable after looking at his original proposal. This is pretty much in line with what he wanted then as well. When? Uh, sorry, there was traffic. Have you been waiting long? Not at all. Gwen and her lawyer are already inside. You better listen to me, Artie. You need to be careful of that guy. Nana, come on. Gwen isn't like that. I'll go on ahead. I don't want to keep them waiting. Sir, Arthur seems to be in a good mood, even though I was told that he was having some issues in Meg Corps. Issues? What are you top referring to? Sorry, I'm late. Uh, huh? Huh? Hmm? To be continued. Civil War. Why did they look so shocked? Hmm? I am curious. Sorry, I'm late. Huh? What? Mm hmm? Hello, baby. Episode 41. Welcome, Ms. Morante. We've already gone ahead and started discussions on the new proposal. I see. They're currently reviewing it. Good day. I'm Lance Tanaka. Miss Gwendolyn Zalameda's attorney. Oh, cool. I'm Arthur. Gwen. Uh, huh? What a sudden change. Huh? Attorney, isn't that too close for a discussion? Is that even allowed? But we are close too. Attorney, huh? Shouldn't attorneys be like kind of old? Huh? Definitely not. What's wrong with you, Miss Morante? Arthur, author's note. Apologies to all the young attorneys in the world. <laughs> hmm. What are your reservations, Gwen? Do you want to demand less, less from him? No, this is all acceptable. You don't look satisfied, though. Uh, Shalala. <laughs> they look like... Eh. Hmm. Mr. Morante. Huh. Rival, rival, rival. Could this be Nana's warning from earlier? Hello? Uh -uh. The actual, the actually proposal hasn't changed much, and we're more than willing to hear about any concerns you may have. <laughs> there is no need for that. Why? Hello, Mr. Morante. Excuse me. Refreshments, sir. Why is she being like that? Uh oh. Oh, she spilled a drink on him. Uh, OMG, I'm I'm very sorry, sir. I'll go get some napkins and a new drink. I'm really sorry for this. Here, use this for now. Am I stained if we don't get it good, clean immediately? I'm fine, really. Here, too. 
that's way too close even if you guys are close friends and stuff like that i wouldn't do that with my guy friends like oh here you know i'm not gonna be like oh like this close to you like no that's just very inappropriate when i don't i'll do it for you <laughs> Oh my gosh, Arthur. That is way too jealous. I'll do it for you. Like, the cock block. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Oh my god. He got down and cleaned the pants. Oh my goodness. I'm helping. It looks like most of the things we've listed won't be necessary. Maybe I should have taken things slowly? Not at all. I also thought it would be better just in case. But are you really sure everything's good? You can tell me. I can help. Excuse me. We need to talk. Let's go. Wait. Hmm. Hey, Arthur, is it because I'm late? Huh? Or is it something about the custody proposal? <gasps> Didn't we already talk about this last night? Uh... Ati! <laughs> How was your nap, little- How was your nap, little Leon? Let's wait for your mom and dad, all right? Welcome to Rodrigo Law Firm. What is she doing there? How may I help you, ma'am? Actually, I am looking for something. A pin? But it looks like I found it. Why is she to be continued? Are you jelly? I'm in jellious. See this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Why is this she-devil all the way at the law firm looking for baby Leon? What is she up to? Don't tell me she's about to kidnap the baby. Because that is a low. I don't like people like that. Especially like, you know, you may be a half-sister to Gwen, but you don't treat her as family. And I would not allow someone who is so wicked to even hold my baby. And... Ugh, Mm. All right, guys, it's getting it's on a cliffhanger. So yeah, I'm going to read the next one right after this recording. So I cannot wait. I need to know what is she up to? Oh, the she devil. If you guys enjoy the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.